Alrighty, good morning everyone. Hope everyone is doing well and joining the day thus far. My name is Shadi Drakeford. We are reporting live from Harrisonburg, Virginia. The JMU Beast Tournament. Um, yeah, it should be a very, very exciting day. So let's go ahead momentarily. Just trying to get everything set up for the stream. Got a lot of stuff going on, but glad that you guys are able to attend with us. Uh, so very quickly, let's go ahead and pull out the matchup real quick uh, for both teams. Alrighty, so we got the head-to-head -head matchup, Cincinnati versus Penn State. Uh, Cincinnati coming in as the number two team in the country. Uh, Penn State coming in at 11. Um, Penn State have not been able uh, to defeat um, uh, Cincy at all. Um, as it stands right now, there's about a 64% chance that Cincy would score the first point. Um, not so much for the for for the Nindy Lions. 83% um, win region for uh, uh, Cincy going against the East Coast. 41% um, for um, Penn State. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. I'll be moving to um, the camera momentarily. We're almost ready. Let's try to get the last, last little bit. Soon. It's gonna be, it's gonna be kind of loud today. So just kind of, kind of bear with me for a second. Yeah, we're ready. Everything's good, guys. Oh, false start. Ah, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Anywho, no harm, no foul. We're just getting started, so no worries. All right, and we're off. All right. Seems like Cincy is going to be starting things off. All right, let's see what Ryan Ingram is going to do. Oh, big hit by Hyatt. Taking out the nameless player from Penn State. Right off the bat, right side, strong side. Oh, but Hunter Stewart with a kill of his own. Taking out number 23. Oh, the other 23. All right, so he's just wearing Engelman jersey, but he's not Ryan Engelman. Okay, no worries. Right, let's see what Cloud's about to do. All right, nice reset throw. All right. Nice reset throw by Penn State. All right, Matt Wenzinski pushing up. Good reset throw by him. Actually, I don't think that was a reset throw. I think that was a kill shot. Pretty sure that was a kill shot. Ooh, good kill right there by number one. We are taking out number 61, Galvin Mosley with that kill. High throw. High throw right there by Cincy. Just checking up on the Ooh, big, easy kill. First of all, all right, so let's talk about this for a second as Ryan Engelman is one of our players to watch in this match. Uh, we'll get his graphics up later, but Easy catch right there by Ryan Ingleman. Easily taking out number 20, cloud out of change. That's that's easy money right there. Ryan Ingleman, known as the best catcher, not just on his team, but in the entire league. Yeah. Not the best catcher on his team. Not the best catcher in the Ohio region. The best catcher in the entire league. That guy, number 23, Ryan Engelman. 
he is a matchup prop. Oh, and also, he got a really solid throw, too. A great all-around player. All right, so let's see what Sterling and um, on Skeet's about to do in the left-hand side. All right, good block. Good block right there at Penn State. All right, nice dodge. Nice job by Sterling, not allowing Penn State any opportunity, and they get another ball. Two balls right there for Simpson as they have the advantage on the front line. Not a bad reset throw right there by Schaefer. Oh, that's an easy kick. Yep, that hit him too. Yep. And right there, two Penn State players going down that exchange. They make that three in under 30 seconds. One thing about Cincinnati, once they start rolling, they're going to be a tough team to stop. They can play at any pace that they want. They can play slow, they can play medium, they can play fast. Right now, they're playing more of a conservative pace to give themselves the opportunity to have ball advantage. So once they have ball advantage, they can literally just put their players right here on the front line and make things very uncomfortable for their opponents. And with that being said, I believe that Penn State is now on the 10 count. Reset, uh, sorry, not reset throw. Team throw, not successful against number six. Do not have his name on the roster. Good kill right there by Hunter Stewart. Take it out, number um, seven, Will Hyatt, in that change. He had to do it. Also, um, Hunter Stewart, ooh, dang. Team throw was successful in that change. Take it out, number six on that change. Dang. Um, and Hunter Stewart is our other player to watch for this matchup as we'll get his graphic up, up here momentarily. Woo! And just like that, first point goes to Cincy. All right, so there is 20-35 left in this half. So let me update that real quick. Um, also, guys, if you can let me know in the chat, if you can hear the crowd noise, that would be greatly appreciated. I know you guys can hear me just fine, um, but, but I want to make sure you guys can also hear the atmosphere as well. It's probably going to be a little bit delay on y'all's end when y'all be hearing this, uh, but just let me know in the chat. And if I need to make any adjustments, I can definitely do that um, around halftime. I appreciate it. All right. Uh-oh. All right, here we go. All right. Let me see. Uh, Ryan Ingram in by himself with that one. All right, so reset throw by no by both teams, no dice, no one's out yet. Even 12, 12 for both teams. Okay, got it. Just want, just want to make sure. Like I said, I'm probably. I appreciate you guys letting me know that. Um, it does get kind of loud in here, so. But like I said, I'll definitely. Um, we we will adjust. I promise you that. Ooh, great kill! Wait, what? I thought Sterling got that kill. Apparently, he didn't. Good block right there by Cloud. All right. Nice little back and forth by both teams. 
They're not giving an inch. All right, strong, strong throw right there by, by Stewart taking out number six, Sterling, that exchange. Strong throw. Ooh, another catch once again by Ryan Engelman. We're going to be seeing that name a lot today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, not just the best catcher on his team, not just the best catcher in the Ohio region, the best catcher in the league. Don't at me. Let's see what Skeet's about to do. He's by himself. He's taking his time. Reset throw. Not bad. I know, Corey. They keep on throwing at him as if they didn't read the scouting report. And they know the scouting report. That's the crazy part. Like, why are you going to throw to a catcher with one ball? You got to at least put three on him. All right, so multiple team throws, not successful for Penn State. Hunter Stewart just got caught lacking right there. Great cross right there by the right side of Cincy. As now Cincy really to push up. They're being a little bit more aggressive now. And I have a feeling, I have a very strong feeling Cincy is trying to really put this game out of reach. I know it's early in the match, but I feel like to try and make a statement as they currently got Penn State on the back heel right now. Again, again, another catch for Ryan Engelman. That's already three catches by my man with a headshot against Joey Tiger. And this man is already putting on a clinic. Oh, good kill right there by number one, Leon, taking out number 31, Schaefer. All right, Ski with the good pump fake right there. Yeah, he killed him. Yeah, good kill right there by Ski. Long throw. Nah, ball. No, he's safe. He's safe. 12 is safe. Yeah, 12 safe. Yep, another kill for Will Hyatt. Yep. <laughs> Will Hyatt is also going to be one of our players to watch. Um, his graphic will be up later um, during the stream today. But um, he was um, an all-rookie. Uh, he made all-rookie team last year, and for good reason. He is also the head captain for... Cincinnati. He's only a sophomore. All right, so five players left. Five players left for Penn State. I don't believe they're on the 10 count. I think they have to be four or under. As we are now at the 540 mark. Since he's just kind of just missing their targets just a little bit. They're trying to get Penn State on the back heels in the transition game. Penn State is able to survive thus far, but they're going to need some catches. They're going to get back within this particular point. Reset throw by Will Hyatt. Reset throw right there by Penn State. I believe the left side is about to throw. Or the right. I do. I got you. Just give me a, just give me a minute, Essenberg. All right. So we also want to have um, Evan Essenberg in the boot as well. God, bullet shot right there. Easily take it out number twelve from Penn State. Now I believe they're on the four count. And just like that, well, now it's only two players left. It's yikes. Oh boy. Good block. Yeah. Good block. Yeah, Penn State going to need some catches. I don't believe Penn State made a single catch in this entire match thus far. Oh, yep. 
Yup, just for good measures. Oh, drop catch right there by Matt Lazinski. Ouch. Just like that, the point is now two to zero. All right, let me see what I can get myself into. Oops, hold up, my apologies. Dang, that's right. All right, 13, 40, 13, 48. Alrighty. Okay, and let me pull this up a little bit. There we go. And, oh lord, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear this. You just got to turn the volume on Holy smokes. We'll get the camera up ready, guys. My apologies. We're just trying to get Essenberg set up as well. So we'll, we'll be moving the camera momentarily. No, I think I think they have a pretty good view right now. They, they just want to see me up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, nothing's happening right now. Not too much, at least. Yeah, missed throw. It's a tough one. Another missed throw. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, we have the honor. Oh, what a catch there by number one, uh, Jacob Leonard. Yeah, that was that was great right there. Uh, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are very privileged and honored to have the man, the myth, the legend himself, Evan Essenberg, arguably, in my humble opinion, the greatest Jamie Dodgeball player of all time. Do not at me at all. I will curse you out, not on the stream, but in person. Sir, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Chidi. I, I really appreciate the introduction there. Um, yeah, uh, I, I won't at you. I, I, I won't say it. I won't comment on that one. So <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that to, to everyone else. I mean, shoot, I played so long, I feel like I deserve something. Right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do, man. Um, but yeah, but first, of, um, but um, but within this match, uh, since he had pretty much had taken a 2 0 lead, um, pretty much some strong catching by Ryan Essenberg. As you can see, on to your right, number 23, he's back for graduate school. Right. Um, and Penn State, unfortunately, have just not been able um, to get any momentum going. What do you think they need to do in order to get back within this particular point? Well, I know that Penn State's always been a good catching team. So when you get into these kind of situations, you a lot of times have to catch your way out of it. And from what I heard is that Cincinnati was lacking depth this weekend. So, if they can find a way to get deep into these points and get some of the guys, the better guys on Cincinnati out, they might be able to find some weak, some weak points uh, in the lower part of the Cincinnati, Cincinnati roster. But I'm sure that the Cincinnati guys are thinking, we have no weak points. Right. So, that's a great point that you just said right there. Cincinnati, I believe, is only coming in. Oh, there's a catch. Ryan Engelman. Of, of course. Yep. Of course. As we're going to be saying that quite a bit. Um, it's funny that you mention that because um, Cincy, I believe, only have about 14 players. Um, so they're coming in very light at this turn. Okay. Dang, Joey really needed that catch. Are they missing their coach, the, the, the infamous Wes Peters? Yeah, Wes Peters, he is not in the building um, for this tournament. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I know. This might be a tough one from Cincinnati. I had Cincinnati going three and zero. I think they take down JMU today, but I don't know anymore. I don't know if I can, if I can back that statement up. They're missing their, probably their strongest guy. That he might not be on the court, but he's definitely their strongest player. So you mean to tell me just because their coach is not here, you don't believe they're going to go? Oh, they're going three and zero today. Hey, as the honorary coach for JMU, I think coaching uh, is the most important job. Uh, Yep. Another. Uh, well, I don't know what Penn State's thinking. There's literally like still eight guys in for Cincinnati, but they're going to throw at their best catcher. I, I I don't know, man. I really don't. I'm pretty sure that's number six, as in six catches right there for Ryan Engelman. And again, we're still only in the first half. Yeah, what? I just got here. How is he already at six? Um, because Penn State have been doing single throws against him and not team throws. You know. That's, that's not a recipe you want to, to win. Um, and so I know I saw some people on Penn State getting upset that, oh, they're not playing JMU this week. But I think JMU did a good job saying, hey, we're going to play you guys at the East Coast Dodge World Cup, ECDC. Right, the um, first one ever. Here. First one ever. I'm a little upset by that. You know, I feel like in, in my time we might have had a chance to win one or two of those. But, right. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, you guys want to – go and call teams out, you got to be able to handle the competition that you're playing against on a certain day, and if you can't do that, I know it's early, but, you know, it's not looking great for them. Yeah, I mean, I feel you on that, man. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be neutral, but obviously we here at JMU, um, you know, I'm a big believer, like, hey, like, if you want to talk trash, that's that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, as Schaefer dropped the ball right there, um, just couldn't hold on to it. But uh, I am a big believer, like, if you're going to talk trash, you're going to have to back it up. Otherwise, um, you're not going to get the respect of your peers. And more than anything else, especially in this region, um, as Ryan Engelman actually goes out. Um, one thing this region actually prides on is respect. Um, that's probably one of the most important things, if not the most important thing here. Um, we can have our rivalries. We can have our disagreements. But if we respect you... You know, we're going to bounce for you as an opponent and as a peer. But, you know, if we don't respect you, then when you're asking for opportunities to play against higher competitions, a.k.a. JMU, they're going to be like, no, you don't you don't deserve it. So I'd have to agree. I mean, I, oh, that's a tough <laughs> miscatch there. That was a miscatch. Yeah, that's a tough one. They, they needed that. You know, it's still a close point. Uh, Penn State still got some root. Some of the guys in the high school still in there, so they still have the chances, but not if you're going to be dropping catches like that. So I was—I I do respect Penn State. Um, I know, I know, I think people want that JMU. We still respect Penn State. And so right. They, they always play a good game. Right. Um, but sometimes I think that you know they—they they feel like they have no respect, and that's why they kind of can, can say those things and kind of come out and be like, oh, no, like, we want to play you guys because, you know, you guys aren't respecting us. But I think a lot of us still have respect for them. You know, we're, we're playing them year after year in dodgeball. They, we play them all the time. And so right. we, we've lost to them before. And so they're, they're a good team. They're a good team. They're, gonna, they're, they're struggling right now. So Cincinnati's they're, they're showing out, even without their coach, like I said. Which, yeah, I mean, Cooners, that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is the second time of me seeing Cincinnati in person. Dang, yeah. Hunter Stewart goes down that exchange. Um, this is my second time seeing Cincinnati in person. Um, first time, it was up at Bowling Green uh, for the Tyler Webb Memorial Tournament. Um, since they looked really good there as well, they actually took Michigan State to overtime. They they did end up losing. Um, there's the first catch for Penn State. Much needed. Much needed right there by number five, Eric. That brings back in one of their head captains, number 20, Glau. So I want to highlight that play right there. That So those kinds of plays when somebody makes a throw and then you're kind of, it seems like you're caught out and then you think, okay, well, I can take this guy down. Look, he's a little far up and you just throw something right in their gut. And those are plays that can swing games. Yes. So if you can get those reaction catchers, like I like to call them, that will swing a game because that's one guy out for them, another guy back in, and you, the deeper you get into a point, the more players matter, the less balls matter. Exactly. And like I said, that was Penn State's first catch in the entire match. I, I will say that is not true because I did see one very early on, Shadi. My apologies. That is okay. I think it was uh, Jacob Leonard made a catch. Oh, almost another one there. Oh, we're about to be in the final round. 
That's an out. That's that should out. be an out. That's an out, Eli, but okay. Wow. That's an out. Uh, I think everyone caught that. Uh, oh, I don't know what kind of special privileges Jamie Well, I mean, honestly, that's better for Penn State. That's the, actually way better for Penn State. They the, got the catch. From the ball does not lie. The, yeah, the, the ball does not lie at all. I, I feel like these JMU refs are just really struggling right now. They just do not <laughs> seem to figure out what outs are. They don't take their outs when they play, so, you know, they're just they're oh. trying to cheat. Penn State here, it feels wrong, but yes. you know they're gonna. Penn State's gonna take it into their own hands. They're gonna make the catch, and that's one of Cincinnati's better players. That's crazy, um, but I believe if Penn State gets another catch, that would then put them from the ten count to the fifteen count, and that should give them a little bit more opportunity to kind of play their pace. Ooh, that's a good kill right there by Cloud. So is his first name Cloud? His first name is Cloud. Oh wow, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, that's what I say too. That's a good throw, number 12. Right? Alfredo Jimenez, that's a good throw. Yeah, he, he, really, he really does, man. All right, so we got a 5v4 situation. Since he with a slight man advantage. Oh, cloud. oh, banging off the sideball. That's coming back to him. Yeah. Here we go. This is going to be a big point here for Penn State if they can get this. We are currently about to hit the 430 mark. So if Penn State or Cincy is able to get a point at the four-minute mark or under, that time will be rolled over to the second half. And I think it would be a big momentum change here. Oh, oh no! Al, I mean, honestly, I you know, that's tough for Penn State, but it's great for baseball fans because that guy is a Yankees fan. So <laughs> see you later, buddy. Um, you can't um, be wearing a Yankees hat in here. If you, like, this is this is Baltimore Orioles area. This, right? we, we are not Yankees fans. So First, first of all, I, I heard, like, if you was playing today, you're not allowed to wear hats. That's that's what they told me, but I told them I wasn't playing. But that's I, can not go, I can go find a U-Rec employee. I have no problem with it. <laughs> if he wants to take that one off, I, I have no problem with that. I don't think anyone wants to see that. That's two no throws, to be quite honest. Another bad call. But but this time it's in favor of Penn State. And a timeout, a timeout. Timeout. Awarded. It's probably about, what, seven uh, seconds on the shot clock? Maybe? Yeah, so someone needs to stop the clock. All right, so let's go ahead and fix the time real quick. Um... Yeah, you you can't you cannot be wearing anything Yankees affiliated in this region. My goodness. No, no. Uh, I mean, now I'm kind of upset that Jamie's not going to be playing Penn State today because if I could see one thing, I'd see that hat getting knocked off. Uh, nothing against the kid, uh, just just against the team. Um, so hopefully, maybe maybe he'll wear it again for ECDC. Yeah. Oh, Trent Schaefer, the guy who's making all the bad calls today. <laughs> He's coming over here. He wants, he wants to talk. This guy. All right, so West, So we found out today that Wes Peter is actually coaching uh, Northern Kentucky at Miami today. So that's where he's at. So is he the Northern Kentucky coach? Yes, and he's also the coach for Sensi. Oh, my gosh. That guy get, must get paid so much money. Um, that guy with the two salaries from two different teams, and I, I don't even get a salary here. That's crazy. Oh, man. That is that is crazy when you think about it. Good for him. I mean, he deserves it. I, he's, he's been around the league a long time. He knows what he's doing. He does. He so does. So if, if that's a new team out there and he's kind of getting them started, that's that's good for the league. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why he's out there. And that game is going to be um, Ohio State – and um, Miami. All right, so we're at the 310 mark. This is Penn, Penn State either need to get this point or not allow Cincy to get this point. That's how I'm looking at this situation. If Cincy goes up 3 0, it's going to stay all the way over. Yeah. This looks like, I mean, they got, Penn State's got two caps. Oh, miscatch. Catch. Big miscatch. Big miscatch right there by number 71. And just like that, both teams are now on the 10 count. So the 10 counts now at four people, or is it? I thought it was five people. I believe, I believe is now at four. Wow, I know nothing about that. From from my understanding, I, how how am I allowed to be a coach? I don't even know if my oh my man, team. oh a good cross, wow, mm. was left wide open. Missed opportunity right there for Penn State. To catch that soft changeup that was being thrown by Cincy, but no one was paying attention. Fake throw. Ground. Two minutes left. Yeah. Penn State, Penn State has to throw. They're going to have to. Oh, Ooh, nope. No, everything's ground. 
Dane, strong throw right there by Clow. They had a couple people open. So I think that's a smart way. It's kind of throwing for you know, it's a guy with no shirt. I think it's always, if someone doesn't have a shirt, uh, typically or a jersey, you kind of don't want to throw at them because they're probably newer, don't know as much. But we got three on three with a minute 37. It's three on three, yep. Still enough time. Still enough time for both teams to score a point. But, they, but someone needs to make a catch if it's catchable. And two captains in for Penn State, so I mean, if they're going to do it, it's now's the time. Broken guys, that's a strong throw. Yeah, he just he, the wall, but you got to hit someone here. Yeah, he just missed his target. The the power is there. The accuracy much to be desired on that last throw. Let's see what Cloud's going to do. All right, that's better. I, I think I think this is good though because they are getting the balls back, and Cincinnati's going to have to throw eventually. They, so, true. But there is yeah, it's still not a lot of time. A team throw. Oh, um, that hit his back. Yep, got him. Right. And they get the balls back. I'm surprised since he doesn't call a timeout in this situation. Uh, well, that's where you want to coach, right? <laughs> oh, another. <laughs> and oh, he stepped out. Oh, he stepped out. Got one player left to be. This is going to be tough. If he right. can find a way to do this. You know, six, I, six and one, Gavin. He's he got to find a way to. He's got my All-American guard. He can get out of this one. Ooh, oh. he's still safe. Cincinnati called timeout. Yep, and now the timeout fireman been called. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, in that situation, it would be ideal to call a timeout. And what do you know? Skeet makes the call. So we're at, we can say roughly around 31 seconds, more or less. I, I would say 31 seconds. That's a good call. Yeah. 30.9, yeah, I think we can say 31. You know, round it up. You know, you might as well round it up to 40 at this point. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, know, you want to add some time back on the clock? Uh, hey, you want to add some... <laughs> yo, we can't be doing that. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just commentating. Oh, 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 shoot, I do have uh, some influence over the refs. Or <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. We can't be doing that. I'm, I'm kidding. Don't add any time back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do no, that. No, he's saying, <laughs> please don't do that. I'm not trying to get in trouble with the league already. I, I think this is recorded, so I think, uh, yes. yeah, I think they can look back on That's this. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying. Like, let's, let's not do that. I would like to keep this job. Well, it wouldn't be you. I mean, I, shoot, I, I'm a, I'm only an honorary uh, commentator, so I can I can lose a job pretty quick. Oh, Ooh, there it is. Got him. Much needed. All right, that's a that is a big point. And Penn State trying to hype up the team. Trying oh, to I know hype. They, they got the Penn State parents over there, so that oh, might be man. that's big. Man, you know that's something right there. Trying to hype up the Penn State. And JMU crowd. Speaking of which, we got him right here. I think that there's for oh, I, Trent saying get rowdy. And I would love to get rowdy. All right, so we got roughly 24. Trent saying stuff to me. I have no idea what he's saying, but wait, one second. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully we see more in the second half. Yeah. Um, so I think from Jane's standpoint here, I know, I it's always great to see an East in like a East Coast team go down and take down like Ohio State or Ohio region, uh, Michigan region. Yes. But I think for JMU here, because of their schedule today, they probably want to see Cincinnati win this game. Probably, yeah, and for good reason because obviously since he wins this game that gets them a little bit closer as the number one team in the country currently right now. They're ranked number two. Penn State's currently ranked number 11. So obviously, um, being at a neutral site, you know, no home field advantage for either team, it would be in JMU's favor um, for Cincy to get the win in this scenario. Short-term wise. I think long-term though, I think it's better for East Coast and more competitive games. Um, at the ECDC of like, hey, like Penn State's here. We are we are a good team. We we just took down the number two team, the Beast. Um, but like I said earlier, I think that Cincinnati's missing some guys, and obviously, you know, I can only say his name so many times. I feel like I can just say it all tournament. West Peters, you know, he deserves to get another shout out. You know, if he if he's not here, it's gonna, it's going to be a whole different look. Absolutely, yeah. So really quickly, we want to put on the stream some of our players to watch um, for this particular match. As we were mentioned beforehand, we have Hunter Stewart, number two, um, one of the head captains um, for Penn State. Um, hometown is in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania. 
Um, he was ranked number three as a preseason All-American for this year. Uh, last year, he was uh, 2023 All-East Coast Regional Team. Um, and fun fact, he used to work on an Amish farm. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, shoot, he should have gone to JMU. we got a lot of Amish people around here. we got Eastern Mennonite University. I think they're Amish. So. Really? Yeah. So, I mean, if he ever just wants to transfer or something like that, we'd probably take him. I did not know that. Yeah. Um, and also, too, um, we've been talking his name quite a bit. Um, but the other player to watch is none other than, of course, Ryan Engelman. Um, hometown. Actually, that hometown was incorrect. My apology, Wes Peters. Um, he's supposed to say Ohio, not Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, he is uh, a second-team All-American last year. He was also an All-Regional Ohio team last year as well. Um, as I said before, he's not just the best catcher on his team or the Ohio region. Uh, he is the best catcher in the league. Um, don't at me. Um, and also, fun fact, um, he is addicted to golf. So well, That's awesome. I yeah. Like, I like to golf. Yeah, a lot of people like to golf. So, um but yeah, score is two to one um, in favor of Cincy, but Penn State was able to get that point. Not entirely for sure what's going on in court two, um, but hopefully we might be able to figure out the score. The score apparently is one to zero. I'm wow, that's assume, a close match. Yeah, I'm assuming that's an Ohio's favor. Yeah, I believe that's an Ohio favor. But if it's a Maryland's favor, I am so sorry, Maryland, when you guys are watching this back. I mean, I, I hope. Or is that UVA? Um, Who's playing today? You know what? That's a great question. Oh, it's UVA. Okay. So, yeah, uh, it's yeah, UVA. Know. Yeah, it's UVA versus Ohio. Okay. Um, so I, I do have to stop you though. Uh, you said that Ryan England's one uh, best catcher in the nation. I'm gonna at you because I, my, you know, my room. I, I got a roommate who's yeah. actually sitting right next to me who I believe is the best catcher in the nation. Uh, and I, I think uh, I think he's here to prove it today. I hope he is. You know, he had a good breakfast this morning, so I was telling him it's a it's a big tournament for him, uh, and that's Nick Foss. So hopefully you highlight him a little later. But that's not slighting Ryan Engelman in the slightest. Uh, so I, I think he, he is a great catcher. I mean, six catches already in the first half. That's pretty impressive. But, you know, we'll see We'll see how the rest of this game goes. You know, it's funny that you mentioned uh, your roommate, um, Nick Loss, um, because he is also uh, one of our players to watch later on in this tournament. Yeah. Um, so, so Trent's actually pointing out something that's kind of interesting. I think you, you probably would know more about it. Uh, Matt Rosinski, mm -hmm. uh, number double zero for Cincinnati. So what year is he? Uh, so technically he is a graduate student. Okay. So the so because the roster here has him as a junior, and I was like, I've been I feel like I've been playing against this guy for a while, and I know he's a good player. So that's why. Yeah, he's um he's he's a graduate student. Okay. Well, last year, I mean, shoot, I was, I was considered a, people were calling me a graduate student, but, uh, you know, under the table, I was not a graduate student. <laughs> they, uh, the Air Force wouldn't pay for it, so I had to, <laughs> I had to keep doing my undergrad credit to stay full-time. I was pursuing a degree, NCDA. You know, I know you guys, NCDA loves come out here and say, oh, you know, I can't play in this one unless you're pursuing a degree. You know, I, I think that that rule was made up just so I couldn't play this year. You know, I, I took classes. I took a class in the fall semester. I should be allowed to play in the spring, you know. Just because you guys hosted in the spring doesn't mean that I can't play, right? I don't think that rule was created um, necessarily for you, good sir. I believe that rule was created um, to um, make sure that individuals are actually pursuing higher education and actually have a legitimate reason to attend these school and not just supposedly just, you know, prolonging their graduation day. Are you calling just, me out right now? Should you no, know what's happening? No, I, feel, no, I feel like I'm being no, attacked right no, now. Yeah, no, you're saying I wasn't no, pursuing no, higher education. No, 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 I'm not talking about you. No, it sounds like it was just against no, me. No, and so no, sir, it was not. This it is a not. great platform, actually. You know, this is going to bring up a great point. I'm, I'm glad you brought it up so I didn't have to. But I'm actually creating a uh, counter league, uh, counter college, college dodgeball <laughs> league today. Uh, it's actually going to be, you know, the NCAA DA. I can't take you seriously right uh, now. And it's going to be, you know, I think it's going to, so I think the NCAA is right now not for profit. We are going to be a for profit organization. We're going to be backed by the Saudis and we're going to have NIL, NIL deals all the way. So, I mean, if you want to leave the NCDA and join the league that I'm creating, um, 
please hit my line. Uh, my ad on Instagram is at EvanH10. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to be creating a new league. I think JMU is going to be probably one of the first teams to be leaving the NCAA. Just obviously, uh, I've talked to him a lot about this. Oh. I actually made it up this morning uh, when I was making when we were eating breakfast. So I thought it was a really good idea. Um, so please, yeah, let me know if you have any interest. You know, it's a lot more money involved, obviously. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's going to be a lot like, so we just want to make sure the NCAA, they understand. They're not, I don't think they listen to their players enough, you know. I think it's kind of like the PGA and golf. Uh, and this can be like the live tour kind of thing where we're going to be able to get these guys over there, get some, some good college dodgeball in, uh, and kind of make the NCAA be like, all right, well, we can't just keep doing the same old things and expecting the same results. You know, we have to, we have to listen to the league. And so that's why I feel like, you know, if they're not going to let me play this in this Nationals for my eighth year, like, that's crazy. That's crazy. I feel like I deserve it after eight years, you know. If, I, if, you're, at, if you're at school for eight years, you should be able to play dodgeball all the time. I'm, I'm, I cannot take you seriously <laughs> right now. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get back on the match. Um, we actually have a good match coming up. We do. Really good match. Um, but, but yes, um, but as, as much as you giving me grief right now, Essenberg, no, I was not talking about you. I was talking about some other people that is not um, – that's, that's been doing this. And I'm not necessarily talking about myself either. But we'll talk about that later off stream. Now, let's get back down to business. 25-23 uh, left in the game. Like I said before, Cincy is up 2-1. to one. However, Penn State was able to score the last point. Thus giving them an opportunity to get back in this game. Once again, Cincy coming in as the number two team in the country. Penn State coming in as 11. Penn State wins. It will be their first victory against Cincinnati. Also will be considered an upset. It would be very favorable, very favorable for them as they try to climb their way back into the standings. Um, Cincy, on the other hand, they're looking at Penn State as, you know, just another obstacle in the row as they're trying to go 3-0 today. Yeah, yeah. So I'm actually looking over the rosters here. And uh, one of the players you highlighted, Ryan Engelman, said, let's play golf. So... I mean, you got number 50 on Cincinnati here is Tyler Woods. You think you think they play a lot of golf together? I mean, probably. You think he's probably related to Tiger Woods? You know, I don't think he's related to Tiger Woods. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Yeah, but like you know, you probably want to play a lot of golf with that guy. His name's Tyler Woods. Like, all right, he's got the TW hats on. And, you know, it's basically his brand. Yeah. Oh, that's a good throw from Hunter Stewart. Yeah, it was a really good throw by Hunter Stewart. Like I said, one of our players to watch in this particular game. Um, he, ooh, there it is. Do that with those American pants on. You were giving America a bad name. Yeah, that was a float. Oh, that's a great. And you got to pay attention. Oh, man, look, a lot of arms raised. Like, what is going on in Cincinnati sideline? And Wes Peters would be able to stop this chaos. That's what I'm saying. He'd be, able, he'd be out there being like, guys, settle down. So let's see if the captains, like Will Hyatt, Matt Rosanne, right now, they can set them all down here because right now it's looking in Penn State's favor. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about like three people got out in under 30 seconds. This is a, this is the pace that Penn State wants to play. They want to play fast. They want to play chaotic. They want their opponents trading with them back and forth, which I think is a good strategy on this. Oh, he tried. I mean, I think that's a good attempt right there. It, it, was, it was. It was. It was. But Ski was kind of playing into that. Um, but, yeah, I think. I think their chaotic play style will work for Penn State, but they just kind of find a way just to use it in a very strategic manner to kind of create opportunities for themselves. And wait a minute. That, That's another one where I how think that JMU is missing uh, balls left and right. Uh, uh, come on. Is that not a kill? Uh, I, I think so. But he, you know what? ball does not lie once again. The, ball, here. Yeah, the, I mean, Penn the State, ball really doesn't lie. Penn That's, State's having to take this into their own hands. They are like, you cannot deny a catch. I mean, sometimes you can, Doc. But let's be serious. And the NFL, you can do it all the time. But <laughs> I think when it's that obvious, the referees have no – they have no other recourse but to say that's a catch, and so they're they're tired, they're tired of seeing these balls that hit Cincinnati guys just go uncalled. Trent Schaefer's over there, just like I don't even know is he even repping? Like I, I can't tell. He's just kind of looking back and forth, looking over here. He's got to watch the game. You know, to be fair, I didn't say it. There it is. There's the hit. There it is. Big kill by that's Hunter a Stewart. very obvious kill right there, right there by Hunter Stewart. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, not trying to be biased or anything like that, but referees. Ooh! Oh, he reaches his he hand out. And reached. another kill. They're down to three guys. Wow. Yeah, it looked like Penn State going to have to put this. They, they literally going to have to take this game within their own hands. Um, this, is a, uh, this is just a wake-up call for all referees. Um, please do your jobs. <laughs> I know it's not easy. I know it's not something that we enjoy doing. Um, but please, to the best of your ability, please take it seriously, especially when there are streams and commentators because just – from a lead perspective, not even from a personal perspective, but from a lead perspective, it just doesn't look good. And we will be having conversations. Well, I mean, we, I mean, the e-board and their committee team, the rule committee team, they will be having discussions about why certain calls were missed. And they will pull up footage just like this game. Do they have like a, a two-minute uh review like they do in the NBA where they go over the last few minutes and all the missed calls. Nah. Um, yeah, because I don't think JMU should be allowed to wrap a single game ever again. That's saying a lot <laughs> considering that you are from JMU, so that's really saying a lot. Speaking of which, one player left oh, to be man. number 16. Yeah, they got, oh, they got one more, God! They got one more in the corner there. My. 33. God. Those are big hits. And a catch. Wow. And there's two, two. there's Jacob Leonard again. That's God. a really big catch by him. Leonard is a problem. Jesus. And I, I do want to. I do want to know. I, I don't think that we're doing that. I don't think Trent and Eli are doing that bad of a job making the calls. It's tough. You can only see what you can see. I would, oh, and Trent, Trent's excited now. He's like, I don't even have to do anything, man. Pat, this game's self-repping itself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I cannot take y'all anywhere, man. I'm serious. You don't have to. We're already here. This is I'm, our place. This is our house. We can do what we want. You, well, you, you, you do got a point there. I'm just a guess. Hey, well, you are the most esteemed guest we have, and uh, I think it goes, it kind of goes under the radar way too much uh, of how much you kind of do for the league, and yeah, I mean, it's shoot, you, we don't stream, like, like, we used to not have streams for this, and right. for you to be able to come out here and travel all the way down here, you got all your stuff set up last night, I mean, very impressive, and we'd like to, I think everyone at JMU and everyone in the league would like to thank you for what you do, Shadid, um, and what you've been doing for years now. First of all, I just want to I just want to take this time to give a shout out to Patrick Schwab. Uh, he really came through in the clutch for me. He was um, the individual that allowed me to get into the gym at a really good time last night to actually get things set up because I know the gym opened up at nine today and game started at nine thirty. So we was on a very 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 tight window, um, but he came through for me, man. So the the feelings are quite mutual, my friend. No, I, I, yeah, we, so we were talking about this morning, we just, Dang. oh, big catch, who was that, Dude. number 71, 71, and taking out Hunter Stewart no right off the gate, no idea what your name is, um, yeah, we got it, we got it, that was Hunter Stewart, he took out Richard, yeah, he took uh, out Hunter Stewart, yes, somebody, so we'll, we'll find somebody, we'll get, we'll get his name, I think that deserves to be, uh, shouted out here, absolutely, oh, team catch, no one's out, well, I mean, and then clouds. Is I, I, I look. I don't want to say anything about Youngman, but that was going to be a drop catch. I just want to say that. And I, I mean, Nick Floss. I don't think he ever drops ever. So <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, good kill right there by Will. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, 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 uh -oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Trent with the point, and he's no, gone. Yeah. No, no, no. Will Hyatt or definitely got he, that kill. Ooh. I'm confused. I'm confused too because I thought Will Hyatt got the kill, and that's what's, why he's talking. Yeah, and another, that's another laugh. And I think I think it's okay. He's calling the Oh, but there's an out. Wow. Man, I, I like he's putting his hands up like that. I feel like you know it, it just hit you. The ball was coming at you. Wow. Good pump play right there by Penn State. Here comes Will Hyatt in. He's running across court. It's going to be dangerous. It's very dangerous. It's a very good opportunity for you, for you to get hit by your back heel right there. Mm -hmm. All right, so Penn State, they're pushing up to the front line. Team throw, miss. Completely on the left-hand side. I think Cincinnati's going to need their top guys to really settle the team down and kind of find a way to organize themselves to make this point. Agreed. And it's already it's already at a better pace for them right now in the last one. I think they had they had like four guys out in the first 20 seconds at that point. I think so. I think that was like a four-minute point for Penn State. Or less. Uh, yeah, just about. Just about, give or take. Like I said, Cincy, they can play at any uh -oh. pace. But oh. they perform. Uh -oh. oh, God, no. Okay, okay, okay. Seems to be okay. Yeah, he's, he's going to walk it off. A little bit of language there. Uh, I think I saw him uh, announce something, you know. 
those can hurt. You know, you don't, don't want to don't want to sprain your ankle playing dodgeball. You know, it's never good. You have to go back home and explain to people. Uh, yeah, oh, he's about to hurt himself again. Okay, I'm getting a little scared here. Yeah, oh, we got balls coming at me. Yeah, Tyler balls. Shake. Ooh, and and Sterling goes down that chain. Yeah, so Tyler Skate Stafer, number 31, the guy that we were just talking about, um, he's going to fight through it. He's Army strong. Um, he's actually in the Army. Oh, okay. So the American pants make sense, you know. Um, Correct. It also makes sense why he got out last point because he's Army and not Air Force. So. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> wow. You're going to be disrespecting the uh, Army like that? No, I can't. I can't. No, I'm about I, to say, man. I thought we was all a team. We are all a team. We are all a team. Fighting for the same core. We are. I mean, but you know, everyone loves, we love to. Oh, Ooh, that was a drop long catch. catch. And Leonard yeah, could he, not he snap. Knows, he knows that that was, a, that was a tough one. He got away with it. Because that's one of the better catches than a guy. Dick Leonard back in the place for him. Man. Yeah, Leonard definitely wanted that catch. He he knew he had it. A right, good reset throw by Schaefer. So, some people, I, 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 mean, I don't have the chat in front of me, but I'd imagine if the chat was asking, uh, is. is Tyler Schaefer, the better uh, TS um, than Trent Schaefer? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I, think I don't know. I'm not maybe refing ability probably. Uh, he's probably a better ref. I'm not going to get into that argument. Okay. There's some arguments I will get into. That's not one of them. Okay. All right. I mean, it looks like Cincinnati's in the front court for this point. Uh, I mean, it's tough when you have Hunter Stewart go down that quickly into a point, and he's a guy that can take over pretty quick. Yeah. But it also does help Penn State that one catch brings him back in. Right? That's what I'm saying, man. And if you say that Penn State is a whoa, wait a minute, you got to do oh, another. Man. You have to do another. There we go. And you said that Penn State is a catching team, so this would be a good time. Oh, Ooh, there he is. Can, can, that. can I get his name? Can I get his name? I, I mean, that's two big catches. Man, I think 71 is Richard. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't have a Richard on the roster, so I'm going to have to go ahead and just call him a uh, – Wes Peters for this one. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like I said, I can't bring up his name now. <sighs> Man. Alright, so we're about to hit the 650 mark. Sorry, 1650 mark. Still Game is tied two to two. Plenty of time for both teams, regardless who scores a point oh, here. But jeez, oh, Penn State him. got to pay attention when they're going backwards. So we're down to six guys. If they can make two catches, that's their two captains back in. Oh, miss. Man. This is all around. But, yeah, Penn State right now is getting crushed on the transition game. Really just by not paying attention, and that's not going to be helpful for them. Cross throw. Oh, good team throw. That's going to get their other captain, Alfredo Jimenez, out. Yep. Another good throw. That's going to be back off the wall. But one thing about Jamie is it's going to be kind of wall ball heavy. Yeah, um, especially on this side that we're currently looking at. Yeah. For sure. And also, this court plays very small. So, it also it plays small, but it plays fast. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, wall ball will be a factor in this tournament. There's nowhere that you can run or hide. Literally and figuratively. Oh, uh, once again, how many times we have to repeat ourselves. Yeah, that was my fault. I think I was, I was talking a little too much. Do not. Um, yeah, don't, don't throw it. Don't do throw it. not. Throw the ball to Ryan Engelman single handedly. Put at least three on him. Oh! Oh my gosh. Man, that would have destroyed his streak. He's, he's throwing it right at us. Literally and oh figuratively. I know you just saw your life flash. <laughs> I thought it was going at you. I, I mean, shoot. It was. <laughs> okay. It I, was. It was kind of for me for a second. Oh, he's dodging too. Nah. <laughs> I was a little worried. I was a little worried. You, I thought you, I was going to cut you, off, and I'm you, having such a great time. You was worried. I was worried yeah. for us. Here we go. My God. And the ball. I, I almost got a, another catch here. Yeah, All right, team play. throw coming up. Oh, oh there right it is. Side. Oh, man. There it is. 32 with the much needed catch. Eric, Nico, Hunter let's, and Hunter Let's see if he can turn this point around. There it is. Quick Bill out. Kill quick right out. off the bat. He's he's firing. He's he's not he's not playing it. He's not oh, playing it safe. He up. sees nothing but pure red, and they know they got to throw right at him. They got to throw right at him. Dodge, Woo, dodge, he's dodge. safe. He is safe. Can he do that again? Yes. He he, he needs. He got to survive. Ooh, he's still dodge, safe. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Again, if I'm Penn State, I will call a timeout in this situation knowing that they're going to throw towards Hunter Stewart. You get two and a half, right? Yes. And, oh, well, I don't know that. I think it was that. 
Let's see, again, I will call a timeout. I that think way, if they throw three again, you, you definitely do. But I think right now it's too late. Oh my what God! Stop world. throwing! And he's waving you goodbye. Oh, the disrespect no. continues. I mean, That's like eight now. God. Oh, that is just literally silly. just wave his opponent goodbye. Silly, silly, silly. My that goodness. Hurts, hey, but like I said, if you're Ingerman, you can do that because you've been doing this all game long in your sleep. So I'm not even mad at my man. Oh, <laughs> <it's a catch laughs> but he brings back in cloud. Ooh, man. I, okay, Hunter Stewart is really angry, and I don't blame him. He just caught Ryan Ingerman on that catch. He's just going after Sensei by himself. He does not care anymore. And that catch brought back Cloud, another captain. And like I said, now Penn State is playing for pride. There's oh, another, that's another catch. catch. Another Hunter catch. Stewart is on fire. Oh, man. Hey, if he can bring this point back, I mean, I... I think it's for, I think That's it's another kill. That's kill. I That's heard it. I heard it. Oh Hunter Stewart, he can, is him. Can we get the Penn State Hunter There's a reason out. why people voted him number three as a preseason oh, All American oh, for a reason. For a reason. Preseason All American number three. There's a reason he's a player to watch. Timeout call. I told you. Oh man, this is what There's dodgeball's all about. Right here. This is what dodgeball's all There's about. There's a reason why we put him as a player to watch for a reason. We know what we're doing. There's a reason we put him as a player to watch. There's a that's, reason that's, that's he's now. number three preseason All American. Y'all would stop disrespecting this man. This is a game that can win you MVP. I know there's a lot of great dodgeball players out there, but I mean, shoot, he is putting on a show for us. That's that's how you put on a clinic. That's how you put some respect on your name. That's how you get people talking about you and start looking at you very differently. That's how you change the narrative if you Penn State. If you want people to take you seriously, if you want people to stop disrespecting you every single time they see you in person and online, that's how you do it. You show up when the moment counts. And Hunter Stewart, one of the captains, head captain for Penn State, has been doing exactly that to the T. So I'm confused. Did, has Cincinnati made a catch recently? So how did uh, how did number six for Cincinnati get back in? Because he threw a catch early on at this point in the left corner. He got caught back in. Okay. okay. It, interesting. But, uh, yeah, timeout was called. I think that was since he made a call. We do need to change that because both teams have timeouts. But, oh, uh, boy. So, I want to I wanna know. Trent Schaefer came over here. He's, why can't oh, they only throw one ball at me? I mean, they threw three balls twice at Hunter. He, he dodged in both sets. Uh-huh. And then he made the three catches. He was the last player in. Uh, and he made those plays. So, right. you know, it's like if you can get through those first sets of three, you're going to – eventually ball control is going to change. Another kill oh my God. once like again by who else? Hunter Stewart. I mean, is he just going to 1v12 this whole game? He probably is. He's probably going to pull a U, man. You, you've done that a couple of times. I, I, I know I've done it one time in this Grand Valley, but that was a meaningless game. This is a 2-2. Uh, we, we were down on that one. This is a this is 2-2. Against Cincinnati, second half. This is this is a point that could actually decide the game. First of all, don't ever tell me ever again in your life that going solo against Oh, Matt another Howard one. It's meaningless. One. Don't don't ever tell me that ever again. Going solo against Grand Valley and winning the point is meaningless. Don't ever tell and me. And balls that. over. And balls over. Oh my goodness. Um, I mean that's fair, but you know I, I I'm watching I'm watching this right before my very eyes. This, no, this, this is this is crazy. Unbelievable. This is absolutely crazy. As I'm really just trying to update this time real quick, guys, my apologies. It is just not working on the app. Time is still rolling. 11.31. It's 11.31. I don't know why it's not being fixed on my end for whatever reason, but we'll fix it on the go. But, yeah, Hunter Stewart is the story in this point. And if they win, he will be the story in this match for good reason. Anywho, let's get started. Someone got hit. Yep. I mean, they were protecting uh, 
Brzezinski in the back there. It's probably a smart play. That's not a bad idea. I mean, you you got to protect your best player. And and thus far, this season, Matt Brzezinski has been that guy. So now it's time for Matt to respond. Another oh. out for Hunter. Another out. Two players left. I mean, feed him. Why, why is anyone else throwing? No one else should be throwing. Unless you're doing a team throw. Uh, no, nope, uh, you should let him solo. I mean, that's fine, too. Uh, I'm, I think uh, you, you got to trust him, right? I'm, no, I trust him. I'm trusting him. I'm just trying to give my man extra support. But like I said, if Hunter Stewart wants to throw by himself, he has earned the right to do that because he's been doing it throughout this entire point. He has earned the right to call his own shot as he sees fits. See? Another one. Another, Another kill. One. Another kill. And it's just one left for Cincinnati. I mean, they had like eight on one. It's a good Ooh. walk, Ozinski. Good throw. Hunter's All right, ball's over. Ball's over once again. Once again. I mean, uh, if Matt Rosinski can pull off anything here, that would be incredible. But I think this is all Penn State. This is all Hunter Stewart uh, in this point. I mean, he – it was it was an eight on one, I think. It's it, it, Maybe nine. It, maybe, maybe ten. Maybe 12, honestly. At this point, it might have been a 12 on one. I mean, long story short – Penn State was just dead to rights. I mean, they were just done. Just just gone. But Hunter Stewart literally put on an MVP type of performance oh, and there it is. once again. All the way back. Yep. 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 I, think, I think that deserves a round of applause for the whole team. That was, that was impressive to watch. My goodness. That, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Not just as an East Coast guy, but just as a fan of dodgeball. It's, we, we don't get opportunities like that as much anymore based off of how the game is played. But Hunter Stewart was the reason Penn State won that point without question. Well, I mean, he's going he's gonna to go back and watch this. I, if I was him, I would go back and watch that point like, no. every night before I go to bed. Dude, that's – Because that was, that was awesome. I'm serious, man. Like, take your best moments in dodgeball, and any time you, you're in a funk, just go back to that clip. Just rewatch it. Figure out what type of mindset you was in, you know, and it's like, all right, cool. That was the mindset I in. Cool. Just rinse and repeat. And just every day, you just live your life just like that. Holy smokes. I think right here will be a big test for Cincinnati and how they can respond. I mean, they looked good in that point the whole way through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much, much different than the first two points um, in the first half. And now we got to set up a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. We had uh, Kevin Ske Skiba saying, I'm getting PTSD from Cincy GV at B's last season. Yeah, no, no, no. There, there's a reason why we call this B's tournament one of the most difficult tournaments to play in for a reason. There's a reason why only the strong will survive and the weak will crumble under pressure. This tournament is designed to feel, to be a very tense, uncomfortable atmosphere where you have to deal with your fears, your anxiety, your fears, doubts, and unbelief in real time and have to respond to the pressure. There's no other way around it. With the exception of nationals, especially from the East Coast perspective, this tournament brings that type of feel. Now, I will say same thing for Michigan Dodgeball Cup and Ohio Dodgeball Cup and the other regional cups. But this particular tournament brings out the very best in their opponents. And also the worst. And there goes my water bottle. Yeah, water bottle. <laughs> my God, it's taking a beating. I think uh, the big thing is that, you know, it's really just kind of shows the lawlessness of uh, JMU and just kind of how we play, and that's the environment we have here. And it's like, how can you navigate, you know, like the wild, wild west? Uh, yeah. And so what can you do? And then and those that come out of there, with guns blazing, they, uh, they get through it. No, no, that's that's a very good point. Both try to figure out how does JMU, you know, able to play the way how they play and be able to recruit year in and year out. This is the court that they play on. This is the atmosphere that they play in. And, and in tryouts from day one, bring it. The best will make it, and the others will get cut. So we're seeing this in real time. Tryouts is the best part because I would just go and I would just uh, I would just line the kids up and try and hit them in the head. And if they can handle it, they can handle it. If not, then uh, all right, you know, maybe dodgeball's not for you. I mean, that might be a cruel way of doing things, but trial I'm, by fire. <laughs> it's that's one way of looking at it, man. But like I said, if I'm sitting in this case um, as they're kind of just backpedaling. Uh, I would try to find a way to, like, I wouldn't play conservatively right now. I wouldn't. They have bowl advantage. 
Penn State only have two balls. Technically, they do not have to throw in this scenario. If I'm Cincinnati, I'm going to the front line and I'm doing a team throw. So the big thing, I don't think this is smart. What Cincinnati is doing right now, I don't think it's smart. I don't think you want to be targeting Hunter Stewart. He's shown he can dodge, one. But two, if, if he's the first one on the outline, we saw what happened last time. Yeah. One catches back in and he changed the point. I mean, cool. You got Hunter Stewart out. And that's that's great. You did exactly what it is you're supposed to do. However, like you just mentioned, if Penn State gets a catch, guess who coming right back in? Hunter Stewart. So, Penn State don't even really have to win this point if they don't want to. They just gotta be. They just have to play smart. Dodge ball for the next seven minutes and thirty-five seconds. That's all they have to do. Cincy, on the other hand, they have to force the issue. And right now, if they're doing this one ball trade-off reset throw, it's not going to work. They're going to have to take some chances at some point. Yeah, I really think it would have been smart for them to take out some of the guys um, before they took out Hunter Stewart. Uh, and also, it gives them time to rest in a way. It does. Uh, he just had that crazy point, and he was throwing and throwing. And now he's like, all right, well, okay, I'm not in. There's 11 guys in there. There's seven minutes left. I can I can rest. And more than likely, there's... Ooh, missed catch right there. But Ryan Engelman definitely got hit. We missed that on the string. Why is Joey going oh, up? Ooh, that's, a good that's tough. That's a good Joey block. Tiger really just kind of sacrificed himself. But, again, Penn State does not have to throw in this situation. They only have two balls. I think you got to start seeing time on this left side here. I think he's in speed and... Uh, Oh, gosh, I'm going to put this last name. Uh, Sterling, you know his last name? Watch. I, I, I really hope I'm going to put you. That's such a good name. All right, we're under 6.30 now. Like I said, if I'm Cincy and I have bowl advantage, I will, I will try to find a way to force the issue. Oh, uh, drop out. catch. There's a big out. Drop catch right there by Clow. Big, big kill right there by six and one. There's eight, eight left for Penn State. Six minutes remaining. It's still in the cards for Cincinnati. Definitely still in the cards. Long throw. I, that's, like you said, the resets are not going to do it at this point. It's not. It's not. Like I said, I see what I see what Cincinnati is trying to do. They. Oh man! Yeah, yeah Sterling goes down. You have gotta hold on to your ball. I think that is probably the worst way in Dodge ready to go out. Is it, is. The ball. it is. It is. And apparently we got the air horns out here. I'm trying to figure out where that noise is coming from. Is that, is that allowed? Are they allowed to do that? I don't know, but it's about to get real chaotic real quick if we, I if we start doing that. I think need to stop the air horns. You know, I can't even hear myself thinking. And 67 so goes down out of chance. But yeah, we start bringing air horns in here. Man, it's going to get really, really uncomfortable for everybody. I'm kind of here for it. Except for me. I'm going to be having a good time. Yeah, but, I'm kind of here for it. But, but I would like to hear... You and what, what's going on in the game? And the air horns is going to throw me off. Yeah. All right, so we're about to hit the five-minute mark now. All right, and we're in the five-minute mark. All right, so. That's a catchable ball. It was catchable. Team throw should be and, coming and, up. And that was Ryan Engelman, too. Ryan Engelman, 2.0. He's a lefty now. He, he's come back on the court. Um, somehow they have two Ryan Engelmans. Uh, his hair's gotten a little longer. I don't know if he likes to play golf as much as Ryan Engelman, but, uh, oh, you know, if you can have two Ryan Engelmans on the court that can catch, that's pretty good. And I think he's probably going to be missing that opportunity. All right, so once again, Penn State only have two balls. They do not have to throw in this situation. They do not have to throw. I would try to get a catch, though. Like I said, one catch brings back in Hunter Stewart, and that would change the game. Because we saw what happened last time he got in. So Cincinnati's being cautious. They don't want to make that catch. So they're, but you have to make the outs. That's and oh he's man, taking his out. Oh my gosh. So that's how Cincinnati's going to try to beat him. They're going to try to beat. That's two. That's two kills right there. Yep. That's a big one. That they're was, going to try to beat Penn State off the transition game when they're not paying attention. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for them to be impatient. Which I don't know why they're being impatient because they're still winning. Yeah. So meeting. They have to recognize the situation. Right now, they only got four players. They have two balls. They should not be throwing. If a ball is catchable, go for it. But you have to catch it. If not, leave it alone and dodge. So one thing I will highlight, it, it actually can be also smart by Cincinnati for getting the hardest to it out because a lot of times when you see these 
teams where it can feel like one player is. I mean, I don't think Penn State's a team that has one player, but Hunter Stewart after the last game really showed right. he is he is kind of up there. Right. Um, and when you get him out, you know the leadership maybe on the court can can fall a little bit, and then things can get a little more chaotic. You're like, okay, who's going to be throwing? Who's going to be doing what? Who's settling us down? No, that's um, a, that's a fair point. There's another out. That's another out. That's another out. Three players left. Penn State is now on the pin count. Now they have to throw every 10 seconds or it's going to be balls over. And they're going way too oh, far. Oh, no, no, no. Almost a catch. That was I, almost a catch. I like going for that. I really like that's, going for No, that. no, no. If I'm sensitive, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that every single day. But you got to take some chances every now and then. Uh-oh. Oh, Whoa, man. Yeah. Line up the head. No, 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 no. And attack. Yeah. No, no. No, no, no. Balls me. Yeah, balls me on this side. Yeah. No, no, no. That's there. That's there. All right, so now clock will reset for Penn State. Now they have three or more. Time is still ticking. Oh, oh that's a big play. That's a smart play. Once a again, play by Cincinnati are getting these kills off the transition game because Penn State is not paying attention. Here we go. I think they got a team throw on the right side. Got to. I think that's where your big arm's at. Uh, a long throw to reset, and uh, Penn State's going to have to throw. Here it is. All right, that's a good reset by Joey Tiger. Another good one off they the wall. Just, Smart. They, All right, now you have to attack, but not like that. Mm, oh, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't, don't like that either. I think 88 can catch. I don't think yeah, I think he can. I think he can. We're about to hit the 130 mark. Plenty of time. Plenty, Plenty of time. time. Oh, there, oh, there's Tyler Woods. Oh! Yeah, oh it's, big it's up to Joey Tiger, number 45. He needs a catch. Wait, if to they just flip names, he could be Joey Tyler, and then we could have Tiger Woods playing dodgeball. Um, and I think, oh, timeout. I timeout. Don't know what call it, but, I mean, who wouldn't want Tiger Woods playing dodgeball? I think, who made that time? Eh, who made the timeout? Who, who made the timeout? Uh, who called the timeout there? Who called the timeout? Did, okay, it's a Cincy. Okay, so All right, so timeout. that's. All right, so that's Cincy last timeout for the half. They have no more timeouts. Joey Tiger is the last player for Penn State. And he really needs a catch in the worst way possible. So can we can we please have Tyler Woods and Joey Tiger just one on one right here? I think all of Cincinnati players should step out and then we have a one on one with those two guys. If Tyler Woods wins, he takes Joey Tiger's last name, puts him in his first name, then we have Tiger Woods. I'm going to keep pushing it. I'm going to keep pushing for it. Um, You're going to keep pushing it. I, 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 it would be awesome. I think it would be awesome. And then maybe uh, he can take, like, somebody's name that's Steven, and he can be Steven Tyler, and then we'd have Steven Tyler and Tiger Woods out there. All right. <laughs> yes, no? I mean, I, what do you think? No? It's just they can keep their names. Like, I guess. I mean, fine. All right. Fine. If I'm Penn State, as soon as he throws, oh. need to call a timeout. No timeout? All right, cool. All right. They're going to let. Oh, all right. They're trusting. All right. They're going to let, they're gonna let Joey play. All right. That's smart. I think it's just smart. smart. Trust him. Long throw. Good waste. Okay. One minute left. He One got. Minute. He just needed to survive for a minute. Now, last time I Penn was State was in a situation where they needed to, to survive. Oh, there it is! There it is! There's the catch! And you see my man, Hunter Stewart. Oh, man. Here we go. He's got to take him out. It's a good throw. It's, oh, man. It was Wes Peters, Momentum. Oh, no. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. There it is. Joey Tiger coming through for his team with the biggest catch of his career thus far at the Beast Tournament, bringing back his head captain, number two, Hunter Stewart, 39.1 seconds left. I don't think it's too early to say this game's over. Too, too I'm honestly. not saying I would, a I word. Would, I would like to see differently, I'm but I think not, after that, I, I mean, am, you got I Wes Peters. Not, he's somehow coaching in I'm, at Northern Kentucky. I'm, I'm not saying a word. Yeah. I'll say all the words. That's fine. I'm not saying that, anything. That's what you brought me in here for, right? Nah, you right. Whoa, that's, that's that. Low. That looks close. That was ground. That was ground. That was ground. Oh, Nick. No. Oh, he's out. He's the, oh, oh. Out. Here we go. They're calling him out. Once again. It's up to Hunter Stewart. Once again. It's up to Hunter Stewart. Oh, 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 oh. It's now time to 
Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! god. Oh, oh my god! Haru Sur! He is hell! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's over! It is over! It is over, and I'm pretty sure I just killed Evan Esterbar earbud. Uh, <laughs> but my God, he is hell. Yeah. There is no more discussion. I don't want to hear another comment, another uh, tweet, the JMU, another another, another, up, another Discord go. comment. Oh, wait, 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 Oh, he's, he's gone. He doesn't. Yeah, he's there. gone. He, he's, he's so locked in. He, right now. He's I mean, so locked in. He caught that one. It was sliding out. Stays in. Yep. Then gets back up and catch another yep. one just for fun. Honestly, yep. at that just point. for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh. Oh. Uh, one minute. State is going crazy. I mean, no matter how hard the refs tried to put that in Cincinnati's favor, Penn State just, I mean, they caught. Well, you're, you're a catching team. And they have one of the best players in the country, and that never yes. hurts. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying beforehand, before I just completely lost all of my you know what, I do not want to hear another comment, another tweet. Another passive aggressive. I don't want to hear none of that stuff when it comes to Hunter Stewart. You will put respect on his name, and if you don't, you will be embarrassed, just like what happened today. Oh man, that is all. Yeah, yeah, that was that was an absolute masterclass performance by him. My God, <laughs> my God, that that was incredible. And of course, where did it happen? Of course, at the JMU Beast Tournament. Like I said, only the best rises to the top. Well, hopefully, and, ECDC changes those things. You know, we don't. I don't think JMU wants to see that. Mm, uh, ECDC, but nah, they don't. They don't. They don't. The unbiased viewer would love to see that. <laughs> hey, hey, listen. If you're a fan of dodgeball, you want to see that. But of course, if you're a JMU fan, you do not want to see that. Um. That was great. That was great. It's very unfortunate. That's the only time we will see Penn State on this court, the main court. But, man, that's um, – I mean, I think we got enough of Penn State highlights there to uh, – to, I don't think we need to see him again. I mean, I, obviously, we'd love to see him. Um, but well, I think we got a lot right there. Yeah. I think we got everything we needed. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Hunter Stewart is going to ask me um, for real amount, all this stuff. Um, we'll try to get an interview with him. But um, like I said, they're so locked in right now. They do not care about no interview. No, no, no. maybe we can get him right now. Maybe we, can get him. we might. Do we have a third mic, or is he taking my mic? Am I, am I losing? Am I losing privileges here? No. I mean, I mean temporarily, but I'm going to have to get my man out in front if we're going to be doing that. But like I said, I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him enjoy his moment. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I got to go, coach. Um, you but pro you probably need a coach. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That, it, just goes to show how important uh, coaching is. You know, I think West Peters can definitely show. I'm sure Northern Kentucky's probably uh, kicking some butt over there because obviously West over there. Girl, don't be complacent. You better take time. Uh.